Welcome to Engineer in the Making. Today in the workshop, we're motorizing a strand beast. Look at this thing, it's pretty cool. We gotta go. Rightio, so a strand beast, uh, for those who don't know, is, uh, I think it's like Norwegian or Netherlandy or German or some other weird foreign language for sand monster. Um, it was essentially a, a mechanism um, developed by a guy named, look, I've got it on the screen here because I don't really know his name, uh, Theo Jansen. And what they would do is they were these giant sculptures that would actually walk along the sand by themselves, uh, powered by the wind. So this is a little miniature version that I built. Um, you can get these things on eBay. And what we want to do though, uh, considering that I'm a mechatronic engineer, is to actually motorize this, uh, bring it into, uh, you know, 2019. So let's, um, let's do that today. Right here, so the plan of attack here is pretty simple. Um, we've already got the gears on the front there, that came in the kit. All I'm gonna do is pretty much strap a motor to this, a little battery pack and a switch, um, and pretty much just let this thing turn on and run away and hopefully it doesn't go so fast that we can't catch it. Um, what I might do if I have time, probably not gonna get around to it, there might be another video, is actually separate this drivetrain into two halves, two motors, and we can actually drive this thing kind of uh, like a differential drive system. So we'll start off simple, do one, and then we'll see if we can work our way up. Hopefully, We've got some gears in here from an old model car uh, that we can actually use. So, here we go. There's a whole heap of things in here. There we go. That's the nugget right there. That little fella. That, that there is what we want. Rightio, so I found some little gears. Um, these ones were from, uh, I suppose, an old, old RC car. Um, just some little, little brass gears. Um, now, the problem is they're not exactly the right uh, gear pitch to actually sit on this one's properly, but you know what? I think they're close enough that it will probably still work. Um, so what we do is we've got a little motor here, we've got um, some battery holders, we've got a switch. Um, so we've got, I think, everything we need. Uh, next problem is going to be trying to mount this uh, gear to the actual motor because this has got a much bigger diameter of hole than this shaft is. So um, yeah, I'm thinking hot glue. There are going to be so many people telling me to do this a different way. So while we're just waiting for that solder iron to heat up, uh, you can't get past the little sneaky CC in the, uh, in the workshop, can you? Oh, beautiful. This might take a while. We've got our circuit wired up. Let's just plug the batteries in, make sure this thing actually works. So plug that in, switch it on. There we go, that turns on, that's cool. There we go, it's spinning around, doing its thing. If we flick the switch, it turns off. Flick the switch, it turns on. So, pretty simple. All we've got to do now is attach that to the strand beast. Again, I'm thinking a little hot glue. Top tip, when you're trying to put a new stick of hot glue into the back of your hot glue gun, and you find that you're doing some work and it keeps falling out, what you can actually do is just do a quick little dab on there with the hot end, shove it in the back there, and that'll just stick it to the stick that's already in there. And then it's like it's one big long continuous stick. There you go. Oh dear. Okay, so I've gone a little bit over the top with the hot glue. I'm not sure if you can see in there, we've actually got hot glue all over those gears. Um, so. I think the best way to handle this is we let it dry and then hopefully it's not going to be all up in there and we can actually just peel it out and it will be okay. Um, but, fingers crossed. Cool, I think we're done. So essentially, in summary, what we've done is we've gotten our little motor, we've attached it to a gear, uh, we've then made sure that's all lined up to this front gear system of the strand beast wired up a small battery pack and a switch, hot glued that on, and now when we flip the switch, there we go. So if we put this down the table, how cool is that? <laughs> Runs along. <laughs> I 
Oh dear. Awesome, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked our little Strand Beast video there. Um, if you did like this, um, you should definitely go and check out uh, Strand Beast. Um, there's a whole heap of them uh, online. You can see videos and photos and stuff of them. They're super cool. If you get the opportunity to go and see one in person, I would absolutely recommend it. I'd love to go and see one uh, live. Um, they're, pretty, they're pretty cool from what I can see. Um, otherwise, you can pick these kits up online pretty cheap. Um, I'd recommend going and getting one. They're pretty fun to put together. And if you want to go the extra mile and put the motor on it, also do so. We'll see if we can put the double motor thing on here next time and do a bit of a differential drive, maybe an Arduino control. If you'd like to see that, leave me a comment below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe. I uh, really appreciate it and it helps me uh, know what type of content you guys would like to see. So uh, until next time, I'll see you then. Cheers.